Mornings are the worst for my jaw. Extra pain, extra clicking, and extra lockups. It's called TMJ Disorder, and whenever I get flare-ups, I always wanted a device that would heat and massage my jaw. Luckily, I'm an engineer, so I made one. And I can't tell you how amazing it feels to roll out of bed and use my own device to relieve my pain. Well, I'm getting a little ahead of myself because we've still got a long way to go until I can call it a finished product. But it's finally functional, and that's a huge step. So how did we get here? In the last episodes, we picked out our components, designed the casing, and electronics. We're so close, but we had to make some serious changes to the circuit design. Because without proper temperature sensing, you either can't get hot enough or you get burned. If you forgot, the plan now is to use an NTC thermistor, which is basically just a resistor that drops resistance a lot when it heats up. So we set it up with a voltage divider and therefore can measure its resistance drop with our microcontroller, which also gives us a great temperature estimation. We also added anti-electrostatic discharge protection, or ESD protection, so our circuit board doesn't fry if it gets a static shock from something like the USB-C port. Here's the newest circuit board. Obviously, I made a stupid mistake, and instead of adding a pad to solder the thermistor leads to, I made them vias, which don't have exposed copper. So, soldering is going to be rough. While I solder it up, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, My TMJ Relief. Okay, yeah, that's my own website. But, you should still check it out, especially if you have jaw pain, because I post blogs, create physical therapy exercise videos, and I'm setting up the pre-order campaign for the heating massage pad. Anyways, a touch of hot glue never killed anyone, and we're off to testing. First, of course, I had to rewrite the code. I pretty much just copy and pasted the temperature sensing code, of course changing the constants to work with my own thermistor. Then I added a feature, so when you press both buttons at the same time, the battery level gets displayed. Speaking of battery, my battery welder won't work, so for now I'm taping the leads on. Sorry future gnome if you get exploded. Anyways, let's test. Let's pretend like it didn't take me 5 hours to debug this thing. Boom! It all works. You can see that when the thermistor gets hot enough, the heating element shuts off. It only works though if it's really touching the metal tip, so I have to add a channel for the thermistor to fit into inside the casing. With that printed though, all that's left is an assembly montage. By the way, I changed the cap so that the buttons are more compliant, and added full-on holes for the lights so that the graphic panel can diffuse the light better. I'm still working through the graphic panel designs because ordering real ones is expensive. I basically just design them on Figma and print them on sticker paper. But I think I like this design, I just have to play around with how the light looks. I also made a soft grip holder for it, just to make it more ergonomic for longer therapy sessions. But yeah, here's a model I can truly call functional. I personally find it super useful at getting rid of my tension headaches. If you didn't know, the temple muscles are actually connected to the jaw muscles, so sometimes they get knotted up if you have TMJ. And this thing gets rid of muscle knots like nothing out there, I'm telling you. I'm super happy with how it works right now. If you're interested in engineering and product design, check out my previous episodes and subscribe. Big things are coming. See ya!